Good day folks, my name is Sean and this is Air Photography. In today's video I'm just going to show you quickly the new DJI Flight Simulator that was launched alongside of their new FPV drone. If you've ordered the drone and you're waiting for it to come, you can actually download it now. You don't actually have to have the drone to use it. Now it's pretty difficult to use those virtual joysticks and it's hard to have a smooth flight, but at least it gets you ready and you can kind of check out the app and get ready for when your equipment arrives. I highly recommend going in and trying the virtual flight simulator out first, especially if you plan on going into manual mode. It'll kind of give you an idea of what to expect. So I'm going to show you here quickly how to hook the equipment up. It's actually pretty simple. So I've got the controller here and I've got the goggles here. Now when you first start maybe you might not want to be wearing the goggles. You can actually still look at the screen to fly it that way. Sometimes I find the 3D rendering makes me a little bit uh, motion sick so uh, looking at the screen instead of the goggles does help with that a little bit. So everything you're going to need to do this you're going to need your goggles, you're going to need the controller, you're going to need the OTG cable that comes with the package. You're going to need the power pack for the goggles. You're going to need the power cable for the goggles, the one that has the USB-C to barrel end. And depending on what kind of phone you have, you're going to need some kind of data cable. Because I have an iPhone, I have a regular USB to lightning cable. If you're using an Android, you're going to have a regular USB to USB-C. So we're going to connect the power cable to the power unit, plug them into the goggles. Then we're going to take the USB-C to OTG cable and plug them into the other side of the goggles there. And then you're going to take your data cable, whatever uh, phone you're using. Like I said, I'm taking an iPhone cable here and that will plug it in. And then we plug the other end into the phone. Now I'm just going to start here without using the goggles. I'm just going to use the display on the phone. Uh, first thing we're going to do now here is power on the goggles. Single press and then a long press. Until you hear the goggles fans power on. And then again we're going to power on a remote single press and then a long press and you're gonna notice the lights flashing on the controller that means it's not connected to anything yet so we're gonna launch the app here now I do believe the first time you launch it it's going to kind of go through a training on how to use everything uh, but when you're done this is the main screen you come to every time and here is where you get to choose how you want to control it if you are just gonna be flying with your smartphone you would choose that option right there if you're going to fly it with the controller and the goggles, you would select that option there. And you can even practice using the handheld controller, so that might be a good thing too. I don't have my handheld controller yet, but I do plan on testing that out once it does come. Uh, but I'm going to do the controller and the goggles and the phone, so I'll select that option. I'll hit confirm. It does ask you to make sure your aircraft is powered off, that way you don't actually send it off when you don't mean to. And you can see here, I'll just point out these lights have uh, turned solid green, so that means everything is now connected. And uh, there they left some Chinese in there for some reason, but uh, you just hit that to confirm. This is the next screen you come to, and from here you can actually kind of go around and look at all the equipment. It's kind of neat. You can do training skills. Basically what that's going to do is kind of go over all the buttons on the remote. So maybe let's go in there and we'll take a look. So we will do the controller. So as you can see here, it shows you what's going to happen to the drone when you move the control stick. And when it's done, it'll go to the next one. So you can see that there. Now I'm not going to go through them all, but I just wanted to show you quickly how it goes through the training. So we'll hit C1 to go back to the main screen. Now I'm going to select Free Flight. And they actually have a couple different uh, things right now you can fly in. They have a factory. It's in beta. They have a stadium, or a soccer field I should say and uh, a parking garage. I kind of like this factory one, it's kind of nice. And uh, so let's select that, we'll go into there. And you could just do a free flight where you just kind of fly around and check things out, or you can go over and do different tracks. They have all different tracks. And that's way if you're gonna be getting into the racing part of it and you need to follow a certain course, that'll help you train for that. But I just like the free flight. We'll hit ready to go. Now basically it just works the way you would if you were going to be actually flying it. You can hit your start and stop to take off. Or you can do the control sticks down and in. So let's go ahead and we'll do that. You can hear the motors rev up there. And now we'll just take off. Now you can see here I'm in sport mode. I'm going to actually switch it back to normal mode. And there it's changed there on the screen. So let's just head over to the abandoned factory. So this is the full normal stabilized mode, so this is probably what you're going to be starting in. And it kind of gives you that feel of uh, getting close to things. And uh, But as you can see, you can just kind of float around and uh, check everything out. You can even practice going in through all the different holes. Fly through the buildings. Yeah, 
bounce off walls because I'm sure that is going to happen a few times. But you can practice going faster, slowing right down if you need. Let, uh, let's go in this building over here. crashed so yeah it is a little bit easier to do with the goggles let me go ahead and I'm gonna put them on now just so we can actually do a proper flight okay so I've got the goggles on now and I must apologize the audio is probably gonna get pretty crappy because I had to unplug the microphone so it's probably gonna sound a little bit echoey but anyways let's go ahead and we're gonna take off here and actually I'm gonna put it back into normal mode so this is really a good system just to get used to the controls to see how things feel you can practice going through small openings. Practice your turning, your banking. And uh, as you get more comfortable, you can go up in the different modes, switch over to sport mode, and even eventually manual. Okay, so let's go back in this building here to see if we can uh, get through it this time without crashing. Slow down. And this is where you can kind of practice using your gimbal wheel because we want to go up maybe to the next floor so we're going to have to turn the camera up. And we'll go up, up again, so this is just like anything, the more you do it, geez, the better you'll get, the more uh, control you'll have. Now I find using the DJI Virtual Flight app is a little bit harder than Free Flight. If you've ever used Free Flight, I just find it's a little bit easier to uh, get nice smooth movements, but uh, I guess it's like anything, just practice, practice, practice. Let's go ahead here, we'll switch it into sport mode. And even things like uh, cruise control work. So you can see there, I've just enabled cruise control. So that'll keep you at a constant speed. And then you can just practice on your moving and uh, Trying to get nice smooth movements. But that was not very smooth. But yeah, it's kind of interesting. Now I'm just going up a little bit higher here and I'm going to switch it over to manual mode. So you have to do the stick alignment thing, just like that there. So we're in full manual now. And you just have to remember because that left throttle stick is spring loaded, if you just let it sit in the center, you can see I'm going straight up. So you do have to play around with that a bit. And the tool that comes with it, you can loosen the spring in there. So you have to manually move it yourself, which isn't a bad idea. So let's try that again. Just put myself back into manual mode. Let's put ourselves into some weird spin. So if we're like this and we start panicking, we're not sure what's going on, we hit the panic button, or the pause button, I guess it's called. And you can see that just put us right back into GPS mode and we're hovering. Now let's go back up. We'll do that again. We're in manual mode, but you can also just put it back into normal mode. Let's see, switch it to normal, and you can see there it's just stabilized us. So either way, we'll put you back into normal mode. If you're in a situation and you feel like you're going to crash, just either hit the pause button or put it back into normal mode, and either way, it'll stabilize you and get you ready. So definitely, this is a good tool to help get you ready for flight. And, uh, yeah, it's kind of interesting. I think I still prefer free flight better. 
there's a lot more tracks and different things you can choose and uh, like I said I think it's just uh, a little bit smoother you can see our virtual home point there can we go through this window Well folks, that's basically it for this video. If you haven't downloaded the flight simulator yet from DJI, I highly recommend it. And as mentioned, you don't have to own the equipment. You can just go ahead and download it. It's free. And you can just use the virtual joysticks that appear on the screen and uh, test it out. Hopefully you enjoyed this video and got some value out of it. Give it a thumbs up if you did. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel so you don't miss any of our upcoming videos. And we'll see you in the next one.